right. So we're on four horse with a living quarter here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Hard to find four horses with LQs. Um, eight wide, seven, six tall, so good trailer. You can really feel that extra height and width when you're in the living quarters. Um, the, uh, you know, it's, I always like taking pictures of these bigger living quarters because it's just that extra bit of width really makes the difference when you're looking for those sharp looking angles. So imagine when you're sitting in it and the extra space you get to feel. Um, all aluminum construction, uh, Cimarron's are definitely one of your, your top shelf brands. Um, being eight wide, they have room for uh, manger tack down here. And, uh, you know, they use this trailer quite a bit, but uh, by and large, I mean, you can you can beat a Cimarron to death and they're not going to fall apart. That's the best part of them. Um, they had uh, show horses and whatnot, so they, they traveled the show circuits and, um, you know, got a lot of use out of it. A lot of use out of it. And, man, this thing is still just a, a trooper. It's, it's, it's here and ready to go. Um, extruded sidewalls here, I like seeing that because the uh, when you have your horses tied down to your tie downs there if they get a little wily especially if there's like a crazy horse uh, a couple trailers down that you know is winning in and talking back and forth if your horses get a little you know um, lightning in a bottle ish and uh, they start dinging up the walls there you're not going to see any visible defects as a result barn doors um, on a 50-50 uh, split and uh, a nice uh, I've seen a lot of four horses that have just a traditional three place saddle tree which always drives me nuts you got four stalls you need four trees and uh, or I guess four branches on a tree whatever you know what I mean um, all aluminum by the way it can easily be collapsed down and out of the way you can see the little pull tabs right there the uh, all, uh, windows on the rump side here uh, all open for ventilation and uh, obviously you got your patio awning there in front of the living area I don't know 12 10 12 ish foot awning on that um let's bring you back here extruded aluminum plank flooring heavy duty like cattle flooring the uh front stall does have uh the uh you know full weld on one piece um stud wall here so it's a lot of them have a stud curtain that is just on a hinge and horses will find that they can they can push on that and then they start bugging their neighbor and you know it's, it's like mom and dad yelling in the back seat, stop touching each other, except you can't yell back here to your horses. Again, uh, extra tall, 7'6 tall, and actually slightly taller than that at the apex of this. It's actually 7'6 tall to the side, and then has a, a I don't know, a 2, 3 inch sweep to it. So very good for extremely tall horses. Um, again, all your windows are going to open for ventilation in here. Your dividers are uh, an easy one hand operation job right here. Uh, they're not the loudest I've ever heard, which I like. I, I don't like it when dividers are too loud because it can tend to spook the animals. Um, moving through the pass door here to the living quarter, we pass first through the full bathroom, as is pretty customary with living quarter designs. It makes a lot of sense to lay them out this way. Um, the uh, Let's see, which light switch am I looking for here? There's all kinds of switches. Aren't, you know when you first move into a new house and you don't know what switch does what? Imagine selling over a thousand new houses every day and you're supposed to figure out what the lights do. It's really difficult. Um, I represent things fairly. I've noticed a couple bulbs are burnt out. That's just not a big deal. I get too worked up over on a used trailer. Uh, what I look for is the fact that everything works in this fridge is cold, air blows cold, all that good stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, your major systems are there. You haven't had any leaks. And this trailer passes all those critical tests to me. If you're, if you're worried about a light bulb, then we might be looking at the wrong trailer. Um, awesome storage in this thing. Being uh, extra tall and extra wide, they have just more room for more storage, and you can see that as you go through here. Also, a nice full fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub, and being 7'6 tall, you're never, ever, ever going to have headroom issues in here. We do have a nice pocket door here for privacy in the bathroom space. Moving forward, let me kick on a couple lights here. There we go. Also, uh, nice light switches around these fixtures here. And they even have their own little dedicated uh, upper bedroom light switch up here. All in all, sharp unit. Um, extra tall, like I said, uh, we do have um, central air, which is nice. Not just an AC, but a central air system. And I like this, uh, this visual runner they have down there. It gives you that really cool one-point perspective that kind of draws your eyes into the trailer. The cabinetry in this is unsurpassed. It is unsurpassed. Um, I mean, look at this. The, the cabinets are um, equal to or above residential grade. All hardwood. All supreme quality. The, the fit and finish construction and quality on a Cimarron um, is at or above pretty much anything else out there. They are fantastic in what they do. Um, 
uh, sofa can obviously fold down into an extra sleeper. You see you've got the little pegs here if you want to convert into a dinette. And in fact, that is all still present and accounted for and stowed away very nicely. Uh, oh wow, I like how they do that actually. They actually screw into the roof section right there for storage. That is cool. Um, again, just like the bathroom, we have floor to ceiling storage going on here because you just, you can never get, I've never had somebody trade in their living quarter trailer and said, man, buddy, I really liked it, but it just had too much storage. You know, that's just not something anyone ever says. The, the gooseneck bunk section of this is absolutely beautiful. The, the angles and the, the mirrors and the fit and the finish and the woodwork, absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I, I can't say enough about their cabinetry and the fit and finish on everything. This is, there's three boards meeting right here. You can't really tell. It is seamless the way they put this stuff together. And just the uh, extra little control systems and things they have on nice little angles. Touches that other brands just really don't get involved in. Um, you know, again, all of their cabinetry is just so heads and tails above what you typically find out there. Brand new, this was a $90,000 trailer. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of the, the quality and class that we're looking at. This is not what I'd call it the everyman or working man's uh, living quarter horse trailer. This is something uh, for a, a little more select crowd. Now this uh, top right here has a strut to keep it held up out of the way. But what I like is how they built it right out of countertop material so that when you fold it down, you just you have countertop space that living quarter trailers just usually don't have. And again, drawer space everywhere. All in all, nice trailer. There is a, there is a lot of use left in this trailer. And this is something that uh, you go pulling in with and people are going to go, oh, they got a simmer on. You know, you're going to turn heads because there is that little political element to a lot of those show circuits when you roll in. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halo Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.